Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to take off the American Girl doll wig and re-wig it. So I'm, per, I'm going to be showing you how to re-wig your American Girl doll. So first, you're going to need an American Girl doll with, um, with like, with like bad or hair you just don't like. You don't want to use like a new American Girl doll in my opinion. I mean, you can if you want to. I'm just saying like if you have like an older American Girl doll, like this is a pretty old one with the big bangs and I just didn't want the same hair anymore. But if you just got a new American Girl doll and you know, you just got it and it's got really brand new hair, I wouldn't do this. But you know, it's up to you guys. So yeah. So this American Girl doll I got off Craigslist, and her hair is actually in great condition. It's just, I don't like the giant bangs. I mean, personally, I just don't like it. But I bought, so this is the supplies. The things I'm using are two different sizes of spoons. Um, one's a little bit smaller, one's like a big spoon. Um, you're going to need some more, some soft surface to work on. I'm using a blanket. You're going to need a um, wig. I've got this one from... Uh, Baba Internationals, and you want to get the size 12 to 13. I bought another wig from there, and it was, uh, I think, 10 to 11, and it was actually too small for the head, and it says on the package that, um, it says, warning, do not remove old wig, and I guess you, like, put it on top of the wig, so, yeah, this one is 12 to 13 size. So I, let me just take it out of the bag to show you. So it's a longer wig, and I love their wigs. They're really nice wigs there. So totally g go get their wigs, but do not get the 10 to 11. Um, get the 12 to 13. Um, and this one's really long and pretty. But this is just for a uh, Baba International or something. It sounds like that. I'm not sure how to uh. It. So you're going to need a wig of some sort, any kind you want, but the, from the Bava International um, wig company, you're going to need the 12 to 13. Then you're going to need non-acetone nail polish remover. Now this is non-acetone. If you do use acetone, acetone, this will ruin your American Girl doll skin. So I recommend using, I mean, you should use non-acetone. So... I just do not use that. And then you're going to need, I'm personally using an X-Acto knife. Now, if you always want to ask your parents' permission if you can use an X-Acto knife or not. Because I know, um, like, if you're a little bit younger, I mean, you don't want to, you want to be careful with it, is all I'm saying. So, and then what I'm using to pull the American Girl doll's hair back is a ponytail holder and optional Q-tips for the non-acetone nail polish remover. So, yeah. So, let's get started with taking off the American Girl doll's wig. So, the first thing you want to do is either put some a ponytail or elastic in your American Girl doll's hair. So, I'm just going to do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got my American Girl doll's hair in a ponytail. So the next thing you want to do is if your doll has bangs or something, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. So now I'm going to be using the non-acetone nail polish remover. Remember, non-acetone. I got this kind at CVS. I think it works pretty good. And what I'm doing is pouring it into the cap right now. No, you guys can't see that. But uh, you want to be careful. Always have a towel around if it spills. And a polish remover is flammable, so, you know, don't use a hairdryer or something, you know. Um, so, I just dipped the Q-tip in um, the nail polish remover. And what I'm going to do is kind of run it around where you think the toughest spots will be getting around. And that will probably be, like, on the edges right here and all that places like that. So, I'm just going to go all around the head doing the same motion. And I'll be right back. Okay, now I've gone all around with all the non-acetone nail polish remover. And now we're going to start off with the uh, big spoon. So if you don't have two spoons, that's fine. I'm just using different sizes to help kind of. And I don't recommend doing it with a plastic spoon. I think it could work. But, you know, just in my opinion, it probably would break. But um, this one is actually a metal spoon. In the, and I think... You want to get some cheap metal spoons. I mean, if you already have some around the house, always ask a parent. Um, 
Because there is, like, a questionable amount that could bend it if it's, like, not very strong. So, you know, um, but you can always bend it back and stuff. So, just a little warning. So, now I'm just going to be taking the edge of the spoon around the ear, I think, is the um, spot that I do. And then just kind of, like, toughing it out. Ooh, okay. It takes a little bit while. If you have an older doll, I think it would be better because it could get it out more easy and I'll be back like halfway to show you what's going on oh and by the way if I didn't explain it that clearly what you're gonna do with the spoon you see how the spoon kind of like this tip you're gonna like try to get that under her wig so it's gonna take a little bit of time and working with it but you just want to like slam it under there but you don't want to like hurt the doll and yeah so you just want to try to do that and for the re another time like once you get like help like through like in a tougher spot I would recommend using the smaller spoon and kind of getting it under there so yeah and another tip when getting uh, it off I recommend like dipping the little tip of your spoon into the non-acetone nail polish remover because it kind of helps it kind of get under there better so let me show you one more time how I'm doing this so you're turning the spoon uh, like back side up and then kind of going through to lift up the wig okay so be right back when it's actually done okay so this is what it should be looking like right now it's kind of like half off her head like it's coming off mine's actually coming off really good this might be just because it's such an old american girl doll that it's just coming off easier but it's already come half off in only a few minutes, so I'll see you back when it's all off. Okay, so now I got the wig off, and you see these little parts of hair left on there? Well, what I do about that, this is the part that's kind of optional, is if you don't want to, like, rip these off in, like, just in case, like, it doesn't work, what I recommend is using an X-Acto knife to kind of, like, kind of cut them off, but, like, just go under them with it. And that really works. Um, and I did use, end up using a lot of acetone. I mean, non-acetone nail polish remover. I'm sorry about that. Non-acetone nail polish remover. And it, it did help a lot. And I got this off in about, like, 30 minutes. I think it might have been easier just because it was an older doll. And if you guys really want to... I could maybe trade or sell this wig because it is not cut and it's in good condition. And if you guys have any interest in that, just comment and tell me. But there is like parts of it that they're kind of like, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's kind of like ripped. I don't know if that, like, see right here, I think it's kind of like come apart. But I don't think that will matter that much because I think it still works. And it's in really nice condition. So it's really soft and silky, but if you guys, like, if any of you want to, I know someone asked me about the other wig, um, I'm sorry, I don't remember your username, but, um, she said that, I said to her that it was cut, this one is not cut, it's a great wig, so, yeah, so let's get on to the tutorial, so, uh, you're just gonna take the exact enough, be very careful, have a parent's permission, all that stuff, I guess. I mean, like, you can, if you're old enough, you can, but, like, I don't know, whatever. So, I'm just kind of, like, taking that off. Or you can cut it, like, the hair off, and then kind of scalp it off. So, I'm just going to take all this hair, and this is not part of the wig. This is actually, they put hair on the doll, so it looks more realistic. So, I'm just going to cut this. Let's, like, cut the hair off. And be very, see, like, just like that. And here we go again. Here. Let's see if I can, like, kind of show you that better. Okay. So I'm just, uh. Okay. So now you're going to want to do that all over. If you guys, if your doll has the hair spots, like this one, here's another one of those. You just want to cut that hair off and then. And then you see those, like, little marks right there? Hopefully, like, with the glue, you can take off the non-acetone nail polish remover with that. You can take off all the glue. But for these parts, I'm just going to kind of scrape them off with this. Now, be very, very careful. 
you guys you just got to be very careful and it's really kind of like you have to have a lot of strength to get the wig off so I recommend like asking a parent to help you kind of pull it and tug it off without ruining the wig so I'm just gonna kind of like scrape it off now this is totally optional you can try with the with the nail polish remover the non acetone nail polish remover but I'm just gonna kind of scrape it off just be sure it won't like slide and stuff and then here's my new wig and this is the Brava International wig I got it off eBay so it's really nice it's, this one's kind of curly and wavy it's really pretty and I forgot to show tell you guys that you're gonna need some sort of tacky glue in the beginning to glue on the wig or any glue I know super glue is great but I think it's if you make a mistake, tacky glue is more forgiving. Okay, so you, I'm just going to get this done with and take off the glue, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I got all almost all of the glue off her, her head. And now I'm going to be taking my clear gel tacky glue. Now, if you're using any type of glue, you want to have a window open or something to ventilate the room like a fan or something like that so you can get like the smells of the glue out. Now you can use wig glue. Um I think you can use E6000, but E6000 is kind of like <laughs> scary cuz it smells kind of really bad and the doll might smell smell like that for a little while. So I recommend using clear tacky glue or um, or super glue, so yeah, or gorilla glue. It's your choice on what you have around. Um, I'm just using this for now. So what I'm doing is just setting, sitting the doll down. And your first, before you even start, you want to start placing the head, like the wig on the head, to see what you like. So like, if if this wig has like a part in the middle. But you can always change that by putting in the side part or anything like that just by how you place it on the American Girl doll's head. So I'm just kind of like figuring it out like, okay. I, I'm sorry you guys can't see this very well, but let me kind of back up a little bit. There we go. So this is the back. I kind of like, like, it's better to see what it looks like in the front. See, that does not look right. So we're going to put that forward. I think that looks about good. And how to tell like where you put the wig, which I haven't seen on any videos, is you want to mark where the wig is, like with a pencil, with nothing but a pencil, no pen, just to see like where you have the front in and where you have the back so it looks fine. Now, I'm going to go do that. So I'm just going to like see where the part is right here. I'm just going to put a little pencil mark right there. Not all around, just a little mark. Okay, so I'll be right back with that done. Okay, so now we're going to um, put the glue, like, all around the head. Now, you want to be very, like, put a lot on. Like, put some everywhere. Just be careful you don't go out of the line. So, I put the pencil mark where I wanted the wig, and that's in the front, which we'll get to that later. But now I'm just going to put the glue all over the head. So, I'm just going where the glue was before, like this. And don't be shy with the glue. Okay, do not be shy with the glue. So I'm just doing that, and I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, so now I've got the glue on. And it's I did put a lot on just be, because you're going to be combing the doll's wig and all that cool stuff. So now I'm going to, uh, like, take the wig. Like, here, let's back up a little bit. Let's show you. So I'm going to take this wig right here the wig and we're going to put it on so we're gonna like turn the wig inside out like I'm gonna do this like here let me back the doll up a little more so we're gonna take the wig and like turn it like this it's like the insides out and then what we're gonna do is kind of put the wig on the head so let me turn her in front remember that pencil mark we made a few seconds ago well that's where that's where we're gonna want to put it so here one second. There we go. So now we're going to take this and at the top where the part is, if you want a side part or front part and all that cool stuff, you can decide now. I'm going to make it have a little bit of a side part. So 
I'm just going to turn it here. And you have a few seconds to kind of maneuver it and see what you like. So I'm just going to like, ready? So I'm just going to put this right here. And I'm just going to put it over. So I kind of want a little bit of a side part. Like that much. And you're going to want press down. Find where you want everything. Make sure you like where it is. And then I'm going to push it a little fronter. More in front. And press down every bar, everywhere. And so I'm just pressing down all of that. Making sure it will stay. And then you probably should like check the back. And like put some in the back and all that. Just to make sure. So I'm just squeezing the head all over kind of make sure it sticks I'm just checking any places where it needs more glue so now I'm going to kind of lift up the back of the wig because I think it might need a little bit more glue okay so a little bit more glue back here and now um, like I was saying well, I wasn't actually saying this. I was thinking this. Um, if you do this, do 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 this to your doll. This does decrease the value of your American Girl doll. Like if you put this wig on and it's not from American Girl or something, it will decrease the value of the doll. So if you do end up doing this and you might sell your dolls later, I do not recommend doing this. Just because, like, if you do do this and they end up, like, sit not liking the hair or something, like, even though it's great quality, um, like, they won't want to buy the doll from it because it's not fully American Girl. But if you're just switching wigs, I think that might be fine. But, yeah, so this is what she looks like. Um, she's just going to dry. I recommend drying this overnight, maybe even two days. Just to make sure it dries securely before combing your your American Girl doll's hair. So, this is like how I did it. And, so, oh yeah. And if you want to, um, like, trade the wig that was on this doll, just tell me in the comments and I will try to get back to you about that. Or selling it, I mean, whatever. So, bye guys.